So, you just got your HT2, you got it home, you wanna know how to mount it on your four and a half inch grinder. Uh, this is how you do it. This is a, our little HT2 right here. You've got two choices. You could have gotten the one with the seven eighths hole or the one with the five eighths hole. I'm suggesting that you get the one with the seven eighths hole if you haven't bought one yet. This is the one that'll fit better and be smoother cutting. The five eighths hole is for those people with really old grinders that don't have a flange on them built in to the grinder itself. I'll show you that flange right now. The flange is right here underneath the retaining nut. This retaining nut, underneath that retaining nut is a 7 8 uh, flange so you can mount that wheel right on. And that keeps it very true. Now, that's all there is to mounting your HD2. Then you screw this retaining nut right back on again. If I can find the right spot. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And tighten it up. And you're ready to go. That's all there is to it. Now, if you've been to a show recently, or maybe you've seen our new flange wheel online, this has got the flange built right in. So to mount this wheel, the four and a half inch flange, what you need to do is you remove your wheel. You also have to remove the flange that comes on your grinder because the flange is built right into your flange wheel. And that's all there is to it right there. Screw it right on, maybe, there we go. And now you're ready to go there. And this is a different grinder. Now you can grind flush with it and it'll cut the same way as your HD2. Just gives you, it's more versatile. If you have any questions, baddogtools.com, 1-800-252-1330. Again, that's how you launch your HD2.